In this video, I will explain how to use console mirroring with Slippy to stream over your network. So I'm a little irritated. I spent so long learning about streaming Melee and as soon as I finished my last video, I found out about console mirroring. It's not like it makes my previous video invalid. In fact, it's definitely an important base. Everything in the first part still applies. So what you'll need is a Wii of the current install of Slippy Nintendo and the Wii PC install of Slippy Dolphin as well as a USB Ethernet adapter that is compatible with the Wii, an Ethernet cable, and an Ethernet switch. Don't forget a legally backed up copy of Melee 1.02 on your PC, and then either a physical copy or a backup stored on your Wii. You can always plug your Wii's Ethernet directly into your router, or you can plug it into the Ethernet switch to make sure that the PC with Slippy is on the same network. Go into your settings and enable Slippy networking on launch. On launch, Slippy Nintendo will add a networking check and then launch the game. On your PC, select Console Mirror, and Slippy will notice a Wii on your network. Then by connecting, your PC will launch an emulation of Melee that is reading the inputs from your console. If for whatever reason you need to have Slippy Mirroring set up on a desktop or a laptop that can't connect over a network, you can make your own simply by taking a network switch and connecting both your computer and Wii to it. You can apparently also just directly plug into your Ethernet port on your device and enable it in your computer settings, which I will leave in the description below, I'm just not a fan, because using an Ethernet switch is much easier and gives you the ability to plug in more than one device, such as more Wiis. There could always be a situation where you want one computer for running Slippy and another computer for streaming. A huge benefit to using this tool is it has zero impact on the players. In fact, it legitimately makes it easier for you to accommodate their needs, as in you can hook up literally any TV or monitor setup for the players, be it 480 interlaced or progressive, RF, composite, S-video, component, VGA, SCAR, or HDMI. No matter the event, you will have a consistent look of your Melee streams. I suppose the caveat is that you'll need to remember that emulators have a specific look to them that is clearly cleaner than console, to the point where it can make the original imperfections more noticeable. I don't really have an issue with this look but it could be a case-by-case -case basis. You could also go into the Dolphin settings and enable all the way up to 4K. Here you can see a comparison. Additionally, you can experiment with the Melee HD Texture Pack by David Kimball. They look absolutely fantastic, but they definitely add render time and potential lag to your computer. Mine isn't the strongest, so I can't get away with the HD textures running consistently. While we're here, another tool I recommend is the Melee Stream Tool by Redek. It is such a powerful free tool. It does all the stream overlay work for you. It even includes an introduction splash screen. I use RetroSpy with an input viewer to read my GameCube controller and it looks super nice. However, due to the delay of console mirroring, I had to enable a small delay on OBS for the program. If your computer has inconsistent delay, it's best to lower the graphic settings on your Dolphin client or turn off HD textures if you have them enabled. Thanks for listening to this part too. I will be leaving as many resources as I can in the description, such as download links, how to soft mod your Wii, and more information.